Hey guys, this is a request video and we're going to look at Nearly Forgot My Broken Heart by Chris Cornell and we're just going to dive straight in. I'm going to play the intro to you and then break it down straight away. It's not that bad actually. It sounds trickier than it is. You're going to be fine. So let's give it a go. So the first thing you're going to notice is I'm finger picking, 100%, because I just find that easier with this song, because there's lots going on between two strings, so quite a lot of it is just... So alternating between your G string and your A string. So I, I don't know, immediately I was just like, right, I'm going to finger pick that. Um, that said, I'm sure you probably can go between with a pick, but I knew that if I tried to do that, it would not in any way be accurate. So for once, I'm quite happy I haven't clipped my nails. <laughs> it's going to help me out, I think. So, so you start with a hammer on. You're going to hit your D string, hammer on to two, then immediately pick or pluck your A string, hammer on to three from that two. So you leave the two down, and then you hit the A again. Reach over to six with your little finger or your ring finger, whichever one's happier, and then back to the A string, and then you just slide up one to the seven. Try not to speed up there with excitement. Because <laughs> you might be like, oh, I did it! And then you might just be a little bit too fast. And... So try and keep it nice, calm, consistent. These are all quavers, so it's all kinds of coffee. So four coffees per bar, so you'd be going coffee, 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 coffee. Okay, so let's do this nice and slow again. Let's talk about hammer-ons as well. So hammer-ons are when we hit the string, either by with a pick or by plucking, either way, either either. So you hit the string, and then you hammer it on. So your finger becomes the hammer. If it was the opposite, it would be a pull-off, and you would start with the finger on, and you would flick it off. But we're not doing that today, we're just hammering on. Okay, so from the beginning of this intro again, so hammer on to D first. Hit the A string, hammer on to three. Come over to six, slide to seven. Then you do it again, because that repeats. Every time I... And then you're into the verse. So, verse then. And every time I stare into the sun Trying to find a reason to go on All I ever get is burned and blind Until the sky bleeds the pouring rain When you came along time was right pulled me like an apple red and bright wasn't very long you took a bite and did me wrong and it serves me To that and then I forgot to look at the lyrics and ended up sliding but that's okay the beauty of just doing it on one string means if you get it wrong you can just slide to the correct note <laughs> it won't be too obvious okay so chorus I've I've tapped something different for this because you could pick it and you will um, later on in the song but I thought it'd be more fun if you used your chords so again I'm still finger picking you could do it that way if you prefer Thing I'm doing is uh, crotchet crotchet minim or if you like that's quarter note quarter note half note or t t shoe so t t shoe t t shoe t t shoe t t shoe and all that means is basically I'm doing three beats as opposed to each beat that would be in this bar so I'm not going one two three four one two three four one two three four although you can you really can there's time for it it's okay but if this is all totally new to you and you're like, eh, it's going to be hard enough just to find the chords, then keep it simple. One, two, three is much easier to get than one, two, three, four. Um, 
so yeah, just use your chord shapes to help you. So D minor, A, <laughs> there, then G, then D minor, then G, then F. this bar out because you're getting on to because that comes back in right at the end of the chorus okay so in terms of the actual picking pattern then I'm going thumb index and I'm plucking middle and ring together but like I said you really don't have to this is the guitarist in me that's doing this you could just go so one two three with your pick work just as well but yeah basically G string D string and aim for the A and the E together if you can don't worry because the chords down so you're not gonna pluck anything horrible as long as you're not gonna change the time signature it'll be fine so let's do that chorus then together here we go and I nearly forgot my broken heart is taking me again and you can keep that picking pattern as well so that you can make the verse a lot easier to play so every little key unlocks the door every little secret has a lie try to take a picture of the sun and it won't help you to see the So we're going straight into the C. You keep this picking pattern. Every single feeling tells me this is leading to a heart in broken little pieces, and you know I need this like a heart. So let's talk about what just happened. So <laughs> then you're into a change of time signature. That was harder to say today. Um, but it's also kind of changing key. You're going into D major. You're not D minor anymore. So you're going into 6-4 as well. So you're going to go 1 and 2 and then change to the C on the and. I know this is going to be confusing. So if I go nice and slow, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and 1 and 2 and Five and six and one and two and three and four and five and six and one and two and three and four and five and six and one and two and three and four and five and six and then I'll breathe now. Ah, <gasps> oh, that's better. But that gives you the gist of what's happening anyway. So you do it just like that for two bars and then you drop off the G in the third bar and then you drop the C and the G in the very last bar. So all together that section goes. And I'll count it the same way because I just think that's easier. So, 
I count you in six first, just like that to get you ready. One and two and three and four and five and six and one and two and three and four and five and six and one and two and three and four and five and six and one and two and three and four and five and six and one and two and three and four and five and six and so after that you have an instrumental verse, then you come back to this section. And then you come in on a picking chorus. So we're back to the old alternating uh, between the G string and the A string. So remember, D minors are sevens, A's are nines, F's are tens, G's are fours. And you just keep that going. So let's go for it nice and slow. I nearly forgot my broken heart. It's taken me miles away. got it on my other chord sheet I just leave it on nine because it's doing something suspended here something else happens in the bass so again and I nearly forgot my broken heart it's taking me miles away from the memory of how we broke apart here we go round again and then you're into your one and two and three and four and five and six and one and two and three and four and five and six and one and two and three and four and five and six and one and two and three and four and five and six and to finish. <sighs> and I say that that's all there is to it, but I understand that that's quite tricky. <laughs> but it is great. It's a really cool song. So I will now attempt to put all of these sections together and give you something of a performance. Every time I stare into the sun Trying to find a reason to go on All I ever get is burned and blind Until the sky bleeds the pouring rain When you came along the time was right Pour me like an apple red and ripe wasn't very long you took a bite You did me wrong and it serves me right And I nearly forgot my broken heart It's taken me miles away From the memory of how we broke apart Here we go round again Taking me miles away 
oh, that was fun. That really kept me sharp. I can't tell you how many takes that took. Wow, three or four, but still, I, I share everything with you guys anyway. And, and you'll notice, of course, I, I left out the change of time signature at the end, but that's okay. You don't have to. This is <laughs> just me trying to string it together because inevitably someone will say, oh, can't you play it all the way through? Well, yes, just about. <laughs> yes, I can. I really like this song. I can't stress that enough. And I have tabbed it, and but in the end, what I found was easier. Like after I'd learnt the intro, because the intro is like a nice little fiddly bit and not too long. Um, once I'd done that and I'd figured out the numbers, then I just put the numbers on a chord sheet. I will show you very quickly what I did. Because I found those numbers a hell of a lot easier to follow. So like I said, this is just your standard sheet that you can get from ultimateguitar.com. Nearly forgot my broken heart. Um, and like I said, D minors are sevens, G's are fours, uh, F's are tens, A's are nines. And once you've written that on everything else, then you can follow that sheet and it's an awful lot easier than trying to find the, follow the tab. Because <laughs> you just, just end up getting a bit confused of where you're going. So there you go, those are my top tips. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed listening and maybe playing along to this song. It's really cool. It's, it's awesome. I can't believe I didn't know about this. So thank you for requesting it and I'll be back with more requests, I'm sure, <laughs> soon. So thank you very much for watching. See you again soon. Bye.